21, and also 20 to 22. Genesis 9, 11, 17, 11 through 17. And last, Genesis chapter 18, 20 through 29, 24, 29 as well. Hallelujah. 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 How many of you have been just, it's just something that when, when a person says a testimony, it don't matter whether it's come from an adult or a child, but I believe these children testified out of their heart today. Yes, and today is young, actually Young People Day, but these, these children have spoke what was in their hearts. And a lot of times you think they don't know or that they, they don't have much root, but they're hearing things. And, it's, uh, uh, and it all depends on how we live before them, whether we're teaching them. The Bible said we ought to teach our children, right? From the rising, when it, from the morning. Teach them coming, when, they, when, they, when they're coming in. Teach them as, uh, when they lay down at night as well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 6. Verses over 8. 5 through 8. I will begin to read. And it says, it says, uh, and Yah saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. We're living in an evil world. We're living in a world that calls right wrong and wrong right. We're living in a world that seems like they lost their boundaries. There's no hold. There's no, there's no boundaries. They would do, say, Anything that has just come to their mind and, and now it's become actually almost permitted, permissible, hallelujah, for practices of that nature. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But here it says that they only evil continually. In their heart, they only imagine evil continually. And they repented Yahweh that he had made man and the earth. And they grieved him at his heart. And Yahweh said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repenteth me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in Yah's sight. There are many things that happen in life, there are many tragedies, but if you... Know how to get a prayer through. If you know somebody that can get a prayer through, if you're around somebody that, 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 that continually pray, as wicked continually become more evil and as the heart continually imagine more evil thoughts and more evil things, how many of you know that we ought to find ourselves in meditation? And David said, and in our precepts, doth I meditate day and night, and I shall be as a what? A tree. That's planted by the rivers of water that bring forth fruit in the season, and his plant shall not wither. And whatsoever he put his hand to, it will be prosperous. But it cannot happen unless we are walking in covenant. We will talk about this morning walking in uh, agreement, uh, uh, in agreement with Yah, staying under His umbrella. It is that that when we step out of our boundaries, it is that that when we walk our own way and imagine our own thoughts. That we lose, y'all lose his control, his grip on us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And we are subjected to to eat to danger. We are subjected to tragedy. We are subjected to many things that can happen because we break covenant. But Noah found grace in the eyes of Yahweh. How many are looking to find grace? Hallelujah. Genesis seven and one. It goes on to say that, And Yahweh said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark. For thee have I seen righteousness before me in this generation. Out of all the evil, out of all the abomination, out of all the things, out of all the corruption that's taken place in this world, Yah is looking for somebody. He's searching. He's seeking out somebody, anybody, that will stand on righteousness. But Noah found favor and grace in the sight of Yahweh. 
And Yahweh said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy heart house into the ark. In other words, come into my presence. Come under the covering, under the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. And you will find safe deep in this wicked generation. Hallelujah. Genesis 8 and 1. And Yah remembered Noah and every living thing and all the cattle that was with him in the ark, as long as they were in the ark, and Yah made a wind to pass over. We were talking about this morning about all the many things that will pass over you that was meant. You are a walking target. You were meant to be cast down. But Yah causes something, He created something to cover you so that it can go over you. This is talking about Yah's divine covering, His divine protection. How many needed His protection? That's his holy name. Hallelujah. 20 to 20, and 20 to 22 says, And Noah built it an altar. Out of obedience, he built it an altar unto Yahweh, and took of every clean beast and of every clean fowl, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. In the midst, in the midst of destruction, <laughs> Noah was still sacrificing. In the midst of your tribulation, in the midst of your trial, in the midst of your breakdown, you still find time to make sacrifice, to offer up. And David said, I will offer up in his tabernacles sacrifices of praises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going somewhere with this. Genesis chapter 9. 11 through 17. It says, and I will establish my covenant. We were talking about covenant. In other words, agreement. I will keep my covenant. I will keep my promise. I will keep my agreement with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off anymore by water or flood. Neither shall there anymore be a flood to destroy the earth. Huh? How many of you remember that? Because of the disobedience of man, because of the corruption of this earth, Yah caused a flood to come upon this earth. Bless his holy name. He says, and Yah said, this is the token of my covenant. We need to understand and find what is in the covenant, what is in the benefits. David said, and forget not his benefits. What is in the agreement? which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for a perpetual generation, I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. Many times we will forget. Many times we need a symbol. Many times we need things that are tangible to remind us of the favor of Yah. Many times we need to see something constantly. And that's why many times in the Old Testament that Moses had to call the congregation perpetually, perpetually to quote the commandments because the minute that he spoke the commandments to them, the minute that